Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to load third party libraries into contact if you can't access them through native access. Now when you usually load a third party library into contact, you usually go through native access and usually add the serial number and it's in there. And when you go through native access, your libraries appear here in a library tab. Now what happens is a lot of developers, they don't want to pay the extra money that native instruments charges for their libraries to show up right here in the library tab. And usually those third party libraries end up here. You have to put them in the folder, go through files to access them. Today I'm going to show you how you can still put your third party libraries that you don't access through native access here on the library tab. So the first thing that you want to do, you want to find contact factory libraries. And if I open up instruments, you see I've already installed some. They're the ones that have the asterisks followed by the titles being in capital letters. That's just how I organize them. But the way you do it, you click on this tab here and you go to open containing folder so we'll do that what that does is it opens your contact factory library folder I'll go here I just downloaded some third-party libraries let's try this atlas and all you have to do you just drag it over to your instrument tab put it in there right now it's copying Great, now it's finished. You have to go up here, click this refresh button. Once it refreshes, you come back down and you see this Atlas guitar that I just added and it's in there. Click on it, get the instruments. Voila, just like that is done. So that's the easiest and best way to add a third party library to your contact player and it'll show up in the library section. If you like this, leave a thumbs up for the like and don't forget to subscribe. Have a good day. I, I am God.